Estimating the amount of quadlock products you will need for your construction project has never been easier. From your plans obtain the following information. Length and height of all walls to be formed. The specified width of all concrete walls. Make sure to calculate each wall width separately. Number of corners, angles, T-walls and end caps. The number and sizes of all openings in the walls, examples doors and windows. Specifications of rebar material, examples sizes and frequency of placement. And the unit cost of all materials and labor. This information can then be entered into the specially designed Quadlock Estimating Program. Your dealer can provide you with an accurate estimate on the amount and cost of the Quadlock product suitable for your construction project. You can also do an estimate on our website. Knowing how to assemble the Quadlock system is simply not enough to ensure successful project completion. A successful and productive project comes from careful planning of details at all stages, so the job comes to completion on time and within budget. The building site must be well prepared, clean and well organized. Clear all excess building materials and debris away from the work area. If you have a below grade basement, make sure that the excavation is clear and that you have good access all around the perimeter. A minimum clearance of three feet is recommended. Provisions for a subsurface drainage system should be made for later installation. The project manager and job supervisor should carefully review the building plans to determine what needs to be done before assembly takes place. Prepare cut lists and prefabricate components wherever possible. Rebar should be cut to length, pre-bent and delivered to where it will be installed. Check the plans and determine the spacing that is called out for all rebar. The quadlock system is ideally suited for even 12 inch increments on the horizontal plane. Vertical rebar can be installed at any called out spacing. If the spacing for horizontal bar is other than a 12 inch increment, contact the project engineer and request a change. Window and door box should be pre-assembled on or off site and delivered to the site ready for installation. Panel measurements that repeat can be pre-cut prior to assembly, particularly at corners. Have materials stocked on the site. Panels, ties, brackets and track should all be placed where they will be assembled. This minimizes the amount of time spent walking back and forth to retrieve product. Note the legend on the quadlock bag that says do not cut this side. Cutting the bag here may place a score mark in the panel beneath and weaken the panel during concrete placement. Cutting bags on their sides makes them unusable while cutting the ends of the bags in an X fashion as shown will leave the bags intact for later recycling as trash bags for job site cleanup. Pre-plan your site to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Ask these questions. Where will the concrete truck sit? Are there any overhead or adjacent obstacles like wires or trees that might pose a hazard to the pumping equipment? Where will materials be delivered and offloaded? Where will waste be deposited? Where can the crew park so they won't be in the way of delivery vehicles? It is important for the project manager to ensure that tasks relating to the assembly are allocated properly and that personnel are trained and have the necessary tools on hand. Determine who is going to set the track, the panels and the ties. Workers should read assembly instructions on the sides of the tie boxes and also refer to the Quadlock product manual if they require more detailed instructions. Make sure there is a plan for the bracing system and ensure that all equipment has been ordered and is ready. Determine who will assemble it. Ensure there is adequate lumber on hand if wood bracing is needed. Make sure that the concrete and pump have been ordered and that it will be ready on pour day. Determine who will run the pour and address quality issues like plumb, straight, square and level. Assign individual tasks like handling the pump and running the vibrator. And finally, if an inspection is needed at any stage, ensure the inspectors are scheduled and on site at the appropriate times. 
Attention to these details will save you time and money and help to ensure a smooth running and high quality job.